Hey everyone, Moo and Sean. Hey guys. And today is the big day that this guy gets to throw some clubs. You don't want to miss this show. Stay tuned. Now, of course, you want to subscribe and make sure you don't miss any more episodes this exciting ever again. Right. Make sure you press the notification button, like, leave a comment. See you in a bit. So, Moo, yeah. today is the day, brother. Yeah. All right. Can't wait. So, the first throw we're going to do now, this is an incredible, for those of you who are thinking about, hey, I don't have enough lag in my swing. When you do this today, and we need a very safe area, we're at the La Chute Golf Club. Sav is playing an event this week. This is the first event of the year for her. It's COVID. It's, it's, it's very different from a normal event. She's not allowed to caddy. So we're, we got our RV here in the parking lot, and we got the whole place to ourselves. It's actually been a fantastic weekend, right? Yeah, yeah it's been fun. So we'll have a little steak on the bar B after this video, so we're all looking forward to it. Now, for incredible timing, rhythm, the throwing of the club is one of our staples at Wisdom in Golf, but you got to do it safely. So the first video we're going to do, the first throw we're going to do is an overhead throw. So you're a lefty. Yeah. So what you're going to do, we have a stump right here. Yeah. I want you to take the club yeah. and throw it right over that stump. Okay. Okay. I got my cruiser. Right. You got one of your wedges there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. The ground is nice and soft. All right. Awesome. All so right. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know when to let go? Um, I didn't. I just I knew where like this. That's the right juice I need to throw it. At. Right. Yeah. So so Moo had a target. Yeah. And because he had the stump, I said just over the stump, and you were that much over the stump. Yeah. So I mean, your throw was even better than mine. <laughs> so you never miss. And notice, because we're using our direct vision, our binocular vision, we both, we both threw it yeah. exactly over the stump. Yeah. This works all the time. Now, the second one is very important, because you'll realize when we do it from the side, and it's very important that you get to feel, so you remember the sword analogy. So I want you to go see Fencing for Power, Sean Clement, and we're using a nice fencing sword. So you notice yeah. how the weight of the sword is releasing us. Right. You're very familiar with that, of course. Yeah. So if you turn it upside down and you let the weight of the club release you in both directions, yeah. now all we need to do is have a target so we know when to let go. So I'm just going to start it off back and through without stopping. And... Notice same again. Yeah. Most of you at first will have a tendency to throw it a little bit to the left for the righty, a little bit to the right for the lefties. Okay. So let's see how you do, Moo. Ooh. Ah! That's right. Hello, Mr. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. So why do you think you went right? This is classic, you guys, right? I don't know. I just I was trying to release there, but my arms got released towards the tree. No. No? No. What's the deal? Because you went and released there, you went binocular. Okay. So you see, if I face you guys and I make a golf swing, my swing's going 90 degrees to that side. You see? Yeah. So I'm going to go and try go toward the camera. My eyes are trying to see you guys like this. Oh. So if I present myself chest there, I'm swinging across my chest okay. that way. Oh, so you see keep what? that anchored. Well, that's it. Yeah. So, if I were to put an intermediate point for you, and yeah. I say, Mu, yeah. stay to the left of that club with your throat. Okay. whoop a -lie. Wow. So, notice it went less to the right. Yeah. Let's keep moving through. Okay. This is different. There you go. Right. So notice how we're creeping over cool. to, yes. Now your brain is starting to see a different reality. Yeah, it is. So. That's very interesting. Now let's see you do it with both hands on the club. Just okay. like you were playing golf. Okay. So let's see you throw it to the left of that club, right over the left of the stump. See if you can stay left of the stump. Okay. How's that? <laughs> 
I get this all the time. There's a tree at our club that's even further, like directly, it would be directly behind you. It's got yeah. three clubs in it right now. Right. So what you're experiencing right now is very normal. Okay. Okay? All right. So let's see you exaggerate it and stay well left of the stump. Okay. Oh, how is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> I can't that's, why, that's why I tell you guys, make sure you have a safe place to throw. Okay, I have to really exaggerate. Of course. Okay. There, so that was you exaggerating. To the so you, we literally have 80,000 people speaking through my mouth, a, a stadium full of people yeah. that are saying, Hey, you know what? As a lefty, yeah. whenever I throw it 30 yards to the left, yeah. I go straight. And whenever I feel like I'm going straight, I'm 30 yards to the right. Whoa. Yeah. That's Starting a... to sound familiar now? Yeah, yeah. That's why we, pay, we play a lot of army golf because our side vision is so messed up. You look at it from the side. If I'm walking down the street yeah. and you see me and you call my name, am I going to turn like this to you? No. Say, hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, it's weird. And you're going to go, <laughs> are you okay, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Right? You're yeah. on medication or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's always about face. Yeah. Okay. So when you're standing here, your huh. side vision is feeding you the, constantly the wrong information. Yeah. You're literally reacting to a mirage. Right. Okay? Yeah. So let's do one more. Yeah. Let's try that one and more time. Let's see you throw it 30 yards left okay. of this stump. 30 yards left. Okay. Or almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. Now, 30 yards is like, see the pool? Yeah. Throw it to the pool, please. Okay. Ah! Wow. It's over the stump. So that's how much I need to... That's 30 yards left, buddy. Yeah. So remember I kept telling you your head keeps sneaking forward on you and you're yeah. pulling it and yeah. you're pushing it. Yeah. But you notice you've been getting better at that. Yeah. Slow. So this yeah. is my bad yeah. for not showing you this earlier. Okay. You guys see how important this is now? Yeah. So literally, now we're going to go out and hit a couple of shots. Yeah. And we're going to show you how to apply that to a golf shot now. Okay. All right, so we're on hole number nine, and here's a really cool setup. <clears throat> so we've got Munashe set up on the tallest pine tree right there. There's the T. There's our intermediate point. Mm -hmm. So, Mu, go ahead and set up over that. Okay. We're going to do a couple of swings above the ball, please. Okay. So you feel like you're parallel to that? Yeah, right now I am. Sav, is he parallel to that? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, I want you see the building left? Yeah. Left of the 150 marker, that's yeah. where the flag is right there. Yeah. So I want you to feel like you're throwing it toward that building and observe the blur above the ball when you throw it toward the building. All right. And you felt like you were throwing toward the building? Yeah. Was... And, and where did the blur go? It came back. Wasn't it just left edge? Yeah. Wasn't it, it Sav? Yeah. Okay, come on in. So if you throw the club mm -hmm. that way, do you yeah. feel like the stem of the dandelion's in the way? Yeah. Remember right using your legs to throw it? Yep. Good. Oh shit. Get down. Woo. So, <laughs> you scared a house there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you have to stay with that. Yeah. I have you to, see that? Yeah. So you didn't stay with it. Yeah. You came right over it yeah. and, and yanked it yanked dead it right. Point. Yeah. It's a good thing we're using a nine iron. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you see how important that is? Yeah. That's... So listen, I want you to try and hit the building. Okay. Let's so set up over that intermediate point. Yeah. So I have to really exaggerate my Yeah, so throw it toward the building. Okay. How's See that? what I mean? Yeah. It won't go there. That one's safe. Okay. So, notice the divot? Yeah, it's going left. It's not bad. That was decent. Okay. So, play the ball a little further back in your stance. All right. So, you line up with that, play the ball back a center. Okay. 
Yes, there we go. Now, does that feel like you're throwing it toward the building? Yeah. All right, do it. Nope. Well, look at that. We're right on the pine tree. It's drawn a little away from it. Yeah. And that's a big nine iron, dude. <laughs> we well, should have gone for a wedge. That's crazy far. Oh, well, we got the wind. We got a little bit of a tailwind, yeah, yeah. but that was a big ass nine, pardon me, a big, big nine iron. Okay? <laughs> okay. So let's go the 150 marker. Okay. Left to the pine trees there. Yep. Right? Yeah. And then let's see you go for the left side of the building. Okay. Okay. Got so it. line up with the intermediate point. Nice throw to the left side of the building. And you're right over the 150. Very nice. So you see that? Yeah. So look at the divot. Yeah. It's right over the intermediate point. Right. And you felt like you're going for the left side of that building. Yes, I, I was on target there. All right. So to finalize this. Yeah. And this is what's going to help you guys. This is, this is going to be very important for you guys to understand how to put the ball in the way of that throw now, right? Yeah. So for many of you, you're going, yeah, yeah, I want to throw that way, but what about the ball? Right. right? Yeah. A lot of people are afraid of missing the ball. Yeah. You got better experience with that now. Yeah. So do a practice swing above the ball. Okay. And so right now, if you throw the club to the left of the building, do you feel like you're going to miss the ball? Yeah. And you missed it by the amount you thought you did. Yeah, I did. Good. So lower the club to the middle of the ball. Okay. A little higher. Yeah. So if you throw the club from there, does it feel like you're going to top it? Yeah. Right lower now. to the grass. Okay. If you throw the club in that direction, do you feel like you're going to cut the stem? Yeah. All That's right. Tough. So use your legs to throw the club that way. Super. Okay. That was flush. Just a little more draw than what you wanted. Yeah, open the face a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So let's do one more, man. That's okay. really awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very important video, you guys. Okay. Okay. So if you throw, you're cutting the stem? Yeah. Give it a nice throw. Okay. A so. Thin. If you throw, okay. wow, let's do one more. Okay. So you got to stay with that throw, right? Yeah. Now you remember you're throwing through the arc. So do a practice swing, observe the arc above that ball. You see the arc? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the other way. And, and this is so important because you guys are going to be throwing to the left edge of that. And you're going to line up the arc of your swing to the left of that. Yeah. And your side vision is going to go left of that. Are you nuts? That's going over there. Yeah. Don't want to go there. And then you bail. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to trust what you just saw, right? Yeah. So we know that if you stay, come on back here and recall it. Yeah. If you stay left edge of that, it should be a nice draw back to the 150 marker. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So. See the blur above the ball. Okay. You saw that? Yeah. Good. Shankalicious. I was too... Uh... You weren't too close. You just <laughs> didn't throw. I was being too careful. You were being too careful. You yeah. didn't throw with your legs. No. I was just right? trying to make sure I stayed left. Okay, so yeah. you see what that another important lesson. So we're throwing mm -hmm. freely using the legs in that direction. What yeah. was your strain level like? Uh, too harsh because I was trying to position it to, to the left edge of the right. intermediate point. So I was just, I should have uh, eased off, reset, and then. Let's try one more. Okay. One more try. <laughs> 
Very nice. Perfect divot right there. Oh, dude, there it is. There it is. So, wow. From chump to <laughs> champ in one focus. Yeah. So there you're fin you just finished off with the absolute perfect little nine iron right over the flag stick, flusher than flush. That Pure was... as Canadian snow. Yeah. Right? That's right. <laughs> All right. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Right. We'll see you next week. Take care.